Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on creating a message box that automatically closes using Excel VBA. As always, if you find this video useful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. I have here in this worksheet fictitious data, and I have a user form configured that allows me to quickly add the values for these three variables to the record for each participant. So in this example, I have cell B11 as the active cell for participant 1010. If I go up here and type in a GPA, a midterm exam score, and a final exam score, and press enter, it adds that data to that participant. It associates those values with that participant. Now I'm going to add a button to that user form, to this user form here, in this space below the Enter button. I'm going to go over to the Visual Basic Editor, Alt F11, to do that. I'm going to put this button in as an alternative to using the red X in the top right of the user form. And this is going to set up uh, a usage of a message box that only appears temporarily. So I'm going to add this command button and I'm going to change the caption over here on the left side to close form. So the user can press this button to close the user form. So this button or that red X in the top right of the user form. And I'm going to change the four color of the button to white, so that's the font, and the back color to blue. I'm going to double click on this button and you can see here it's named command button 2. I'm just going to put one line of code here which is unload me. Unload me. That'll close the user form. So just real quickly to demonstrate this, open the user form and I can just press this blue button and it'll close it. Of course I can also press that red X. So let's say that we wanted to disable this red X so that a user could not use this to close the user form but because we've disabled it and because they would expect it to work we want some sort of temporary message to come up letting them know to use this blue button so we could also use just a traditional message box here but in an instance like this it may be appropriate to use a message box that comes up briefly and then disappears so I'll close this form, move back to the Visual Basic Editor. I'm going to add just one subroutine to do this. I'm going to paste this code in up top. And we have private sub user form underscore query close cancel as integer and close mode as integer. And then we have this one if then statement if close mode equals zero then cancel equals true so this is going to prevent the user form from closing this line of code here cancel equals true then we're going to declare i as an integer and then we have this line of code so this is i equals create object w script dot shell dot pop up and then we have three arguments for that message box the message, use the blue button to close user form. The time, I have this set at one, and then the title of the message box, in this case, error. So if we move back to the worksheet, and I open up the user form, and attempt to close it using this red X, you can see just really briefly this message box comes up. So if I use this close form here, this blue button, it's going to close that user form. Now if we want to adjust the amount of time it takes for this message box to disappear, we can do that from the Visual Basic Editor and we just modify this value here. So instead of 1, we can change this to two, three, four, some other value that leaves an adequate amount of time for the user to 
read that message box. So let's say I change this to 5. So it'll take quite a while to close. You'll note here that as I try to close this user form, the red X, this message box comes up. I don't have to wait. I can also just click OK and then close form. So I don't have to wait for it to disappear. I can still manually close that message box. Now one other option available here that may make sense in a variety of situations would be, moving back to the code view, would be to have this message box come up and then when it's done have the user form close. So the user closes the user form, but before it will close, the message box comes up temporarily. So in this instance, I'm going to change this 5 back to a 1. And up here where I have this line of code, cancel equals true, I'm just going to put an apostrophe in front of this. So it's going to comment that line of code out. So you can see it's green. So that line of code will not execute. So it's going to skip that line of code. So I move back to the worksheet, open the user form, and now I go to close the user form with this red X. That message box comes up, and when it closes, the user form closes as well. I hope you found this video on creating a message box that automatically closes to be helpful. Thanks for watching.